guys, how can non-canonical villains appear like Mechi Kabura can appear in the new Dragon Ball Daima anime? Yes, this can happen, we just have to remember that Broly was not canonical, but now he is part of the original story, so why not villains that we already know appearing in Dragon Ball Daima? Well, let's talk about that. But first leave your like, let's hit a thousand likes, so I can keep bringing more videos like this. And of course, also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. Well said, let's get started. Guys, Dragon Ball Daima is a new anime that features Goku, Vegeta and other main characters facing a unique challenge. They have regressed to childhood due to the effects of a setup by the new villains. With Kaioshin's help, they embark on a journey across the universe in search of a cure for this problem. The series takes place between Majin Buu's defeat and the events of Dragon Ball Super, excluding elements such as Beerus and Whis. Akira Toriyama is deeply involved in the project as a writer and character designer, unlike his role in Dragon Ball Super. The series will feature 20 episodes and is scheduled for worldwide release in October 2024, with the possibility of dubbing with classic voices for fans. Furthermore, the inclusion of the Makai world promises to add a new dimension to the narrative, exciting challenges for the protagonists. Guys, returning to the main topic, how could non-canonical villains appear? And yes, there are several possibilities of how it would appear, for example. Exploration of the multiverse and alternative timelines. The plot could involve interdimensional or time travel, allowing the main characters of Dragon Ball Daima to meet Mechikabura in an alternative reality. Perhaps Mechikabura has gained knowledge of a technique or artifact that allows for the manipulation of timelines placing him as a potential threat to the entire multiverse. Connection to the Makai world As previously mentioned, Mechikabura is associated with the demon realm. The protagonists could travel to the Makai world in search of a way to reverse their childhood transformation, only to discover that Mechikabura is up to something evil that threatens not only his own world, but also all others. Origin of new villains Mechikabura's presence can be used to introduce a new faction of villains who serve him as subordinates. These new antagonists could be original characters or even alternative versions of known villains from the series, now loyal to Mechikabura and his nefarious plans. Search for powerful artifacts Mechikabura may be searching for ancient artifacts or sources of ultimate power spread across the Dragon Ball universe. The protagonists of Dragon Ball Daima may be forced to compete with him to find these artifacts before they fall into the wrong hands and cause large-scale destruction. Challenge for protagonists and character development Mechikabura, as a cunning and powerful villain, could provide a significant challenge for the main characters, requiring them to band together and overcome their limits to stop him. Facing Mechikabura could also offer opportunities for character development, such as overcoming past traumas or learning new combat techniques and strategies. Other villains that could appear are Demigra, another villain introduced in the Dragon Ball Heroes games. Demigra is an evil sorcerer with powerful magical abilities. His quest for control of time and space could put him on a collision course with the protagonists of Dragon Ball Daima, offering a formidable threat that requires all his skill and determination to defeat. Fu the son of Toa and Mira Fu is a character originally introduced in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. He is a mysterious being who manipulates events in different timelines for his own nefarious purposes. His presence could trigger a series of complicated and challenging events for the hero Heroes, testing their strength and wit. Hachiyak is an android created by Dr. Raichi in Dragon Ball Z, planned to eradicate the Saiyans. He is designed to exterminate Saiyans and poses a significant threat to Goku and his allies. His inclusion could bring up questions about the Saiyans' past and the legacy of destruction left behind by Frieza's empire, Salsa and Putin. Salsa and Putini are two powerful demons that appear in the Dragon Ball Heroes games. They serve the demon king Mechikabura and have unique magical abilities. Their loyalty to Mechikabura could make them dangerous and challenging allies for the heroes to face. Dr. W is the mad scientist behind the creation of Hachiyak in plan to eradicate the Saiyans. His quest for power and revenge against the Saiyans could lead him to create new technological threats to challenge Goku and his friends. Mira and Tawa Mira and Tawa are two main antagonists in the Dragon Ball Xenoverse games. They are time travelers who seek to alter the course of history for their own sinister purposes. His manipulation of historical events could create moral dilemmas and complex challenges for the heroes to resolve. The Evil Warriors are a group of evil warriors led by Turles, Slug, Cooler, and Broly in Dragon Ball Z, the Tree of Might. 
Their quest for power and domination could see them clash with the protagonists of Dragon Ball Dema in an epic battle for supremacy. Janemba is a powerful demon who appears in the film Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn. Its ability to distort reality and create alternative dimensions could be explored in a fascinating way in Dragon Ball Dema, offering a unique and surreal challenge for the heroes to face. As mentioned before, one of the ways that Mechikabura can return is through his connection with the world of the Demon Kingdom. We know that there will be the Makai world which is the world of demons. But who are these demons? Demon world is a dark and sinister dimension in the Dragon Ball universe, inhabited by a variety of demonic beings and evil creatures. This realm is often portrayed as a dangerous and chaotic place where evil thrives and dark forces reign supreme. Within the Maki world, there are several notable demons, each with their own unique personality and powers. Some of the more prominent demons that inhabit this realm include, Debura is one of the most powerful demons in the Makai world and served as the king of the kingdom before being absorbed by Majin Buu during the events of Dragon Ball Z. He possesses exceptional magical abilities, including the ability to petrify his enemies with his saliva. Shula is a demonic warrior who appears in the film Dragon Ball Mystical Adventure. He is a formidable adversary who challenges Goku and his friends in a battle for supremacy in the Makai world. Putin and Salsa are two powerful demons who serve Mechikabura in Dragon Ball Heroes. They are known for their magical abilities and are often seen fighting alongside their master against his enemies. In addition to the demons mentioned above, the Makai world is home to a multitude of lesser demonic creatures, each contributing to the kingdom's dark and dangerous atmosphere. These demons vary in size, strength and abilities, but they all share a common thirst for destruction and chaos. And it's very possible that we could see one of these demons becoming canon. The reasons are reimagining in the main series. The creators of Dragon Ball could choose to reintroduce and reimagine certain demons from the Makai world in the main series. They could be introduced with revised stories and expanded roles that integrate them more deeply into the franchise canon. Inclusion in future arcs Demons from the Makai world could be incorporated into future arcs of the Dragon Ball series, either as main antagonists or as temporary allies of the heroes. This would offer opportunities to explore their origins, motivations and abilities in more detail. References and Connections even if they don't appear directly in the main series, the demons of the Makai world could be referenced or connected to canonical events and characters in subtle ways. This would help expand the Dragon Ball universe in a cohesive and coherent way. Inclusion in related media Demons from the Makai world could make appearances in related media, such as games, spin-off manga or films. If these stories are well received by fans, there could be an opportunity to incorporate them into the series' main canon. Guys, with this, we will end today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a lot of likes on the video and comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you another day guys.